Hi everybody. So, making sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are actually the most common rocks in the United Arab Emirates. Um, there's an image here in the Hajar Mountains. And these are rocks that are made out of sediments. That's why they're called sedimentary rocks. So you can see three examples here. You've got conglomerate and you can see that it's actually made up of big chunks of smaller rocks all cemented together. You've got this one that's made out, this is limestone, which will fizz if you put acid on it. So we've tested that out. Um, and it is made up of shells and calcium carbonate and sand and lots of things like that. And then here is sandstone, which as you can guess from the name is made from sand. Okay, so sedimentary rocks are made out of sediments. Now making the rocks is a process. There are four main steps. So first you have erosion. So erosion moves the sediments. And as you can see in this example, it deposits them at the, at, a, at the bottom of a body of water, which is usually what happens. So that second step then, as I've already mentioned, is deposition, where these sediments start to get piled up. And you can see from here to here that they're getting piled up in layers. So sedimentary rocks tend to form in layers. Okay, and then step three, over time, they get put, the water gets pushed out of the layers so that it becomes just sand, just rock, or mostly just sand and rock, or mostly just sand and uh, pebbles and bits of rock and things like that. Okay, and so that's, we call that compaction, where the layers start to get compacted down together from um, pushing from up above. All right, and then the final step would be cementation, where in this case it mentions salt crystals, but it can be other minerals as well. Um, for example, in the with limestone, it's calcium carbonate, which cements the rocks together. So you have different minerals that will cement together and hold all the sediments together, almost like glue. So this is your four-step process. First erosion, then deposition, then compaction, then cementation. So generally we say that when sedimentary rocks form, it's through compaction and cementation. All right, so that squishing down of the layers to squish the water out and then getting them getting cemented together, like almost glued together. Okay, so the difference then is compaction is just that pressure pushing in the water out, getting squished and cementation, it gets cemented or glued together by different minerals. All right, now making sedimentary rocks is a very slow process. Compacting and cementing the sediments together into a rock can take millions of years. And it's also a large scale process. As you can see, these layers of sediments that turned into rock are actually visible. You can see in these different colors. Um, and so these layers can be visible for kilometers. Like if you ever go down the Grand Canyon, you'll see the layers as you walk along or ride along in a, in a boat or whatever. Okay, so the layers form in massive, huge, enormous chunks. So this is a very large scale process. So that is compaction and cementation and how sedimentary rocks form.